Hey friends! Before we start the show, we want to give a quick shout out to a few members of our Patreon family. That's right! We want to send a big hola to our amigos Sofia and Viola, and their mama Ashley and their papa Carlo. We're so happy to know that your whole family is sharing in all the fun of learning Spanish, and we're really proud of all of you. Next up, we'd like to say hola to our amigos Anne and Willow. Anne, we got your question in about how to say marshmallow, and it's been making its way up the list. In fact, I think it's going to be answered soon by Mrs. Elephant and Mr. Mouse. I'll give you a hint. It'll be in episode siete of their new Spanish Word of the Week segment. So keep your ears open. And last but not least, we'd like to send a big hola to our amigo Sam and his mama Marty. Hola Sam! Hola Marty! Sam asked a really clever question. He asked how to say eat your Spanish in Spanish. <laughs> Keep your ears open, Sam, because your question will be answered by Mrs. Elephant and Mr. Mouse in episode 9 of Spanish Word of the Week. And as always, if you'd like to become a member of our Patreon family, you can do so for as little as $2 a month, and you'll receive free downloads of all our Spanish learning songs. You can also join at different amounts to receive gifts like Eat Your Spanish Worksheets, your favorite bedtime stories read to you by Mrs. Elephant and Mr. Mouse, virtual concerts by me and Vanessa, and so much more. That's right! It really takes a community to keep Eat Your Spanish going strong, and your support means the world to us. You can visit the Patreon link in the episode description to find out how to start supporting our program today. That's all for now. On with the show. Hello, friends. Hola, amigos. How are you? Como están? I'm so happy. Estoy feliz. To be with you. A estar contigo. Are you hungry? Tienen hambre. To sing and play. A cantar y jugar. Cause on our men. Porque en el men. It's finished today. Everybody sing. No, I said Spanish. Okay, eat your Spanish with us today. Eat your Spanish! With Evan and Vanessa. Hola, amigos. Hello, friends. Me llamo Evan. My name's Evan. Y yo me llamo Vanessa. And my name's Vanessa. Welcome to our review for Lesson 10 of Eat Your Spanish, where we learn the words for car, bicycle, train, and airplane in Spanish. That's right. We learned that in Spanish, car is coche, bicycle is bicicleta, train is tren, and airplane is avión. That's right. Great job remembering, Evan. Today we'll be quickly reviewing our words from last week. That alarm means that one of our listeners guessed what this week's word was in the question that they sent in to us. But I thought we answered them all last week. Hmm. Let's check the printout. Uh-oh, Evan. The printout says we forgot to name someone from last week. Whoa. And that person is... Samantha! Let's listen to her question. Hi. My name is Samantha, I'm three years old, and my question today is how to say why you run Spanish. Way to go, Samantha. Your question was a perfect match for the word bicycle that we learned last week. Great question, Samantha. So now you know that bicycle in Spanish is bicicleta. I wonder if you have your own bicicleta at home. I love to ride my bike all around the neighborhood. Yeah, me too. Riding bicicletas is so much fun. Thanks for sending us in your question, Samantha, and for being such a great listener. Gracias, Samantha. So back to our episode. We're going to review all the words in the beginning, and then we're going to play a fun Spanish game together. Then at the very end of the episode, we'll give one special listener the chance to ask a question about how to say a word or phrase in Spanish. But first, it's time for a little review of our words from last week. I hope you're ready to have some fun. Here we go. Spanish review time! 
All right, now it's time to take a look back at our lesson from last week. Evan, rewind the tape. So, Vanessa, how do you say the words car, bicycle, train, and airplane in Spanish? Great question, Evan. Before I answer, I want to say something important about some of the words we'll be sharing with you. Spanish is such an incredibly diverse and multifaceted language, and there are so many dialects of Spanish spoken throughout the world. So a dialect is a form of a language that is spoken in a specific region or social group. And since Latin American culture is so beautifully diverse, there's more than one way to say certain words. And some of them are the words we'll be learning today. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it really is. Which words are you talking about? Great question. For car, you can say auto, automobile, or the most commonly spoken word, which is coche. So coche is the word we'll be learning today. For airplane, you can say aeroplano, or the most commonly used word avión, which is the version we'll be learning today. For bicycle, we say bicicleta, and for train, we say tren. Are we ready to practice them one by one? Ready. Okay, we'll start with car. In Spanish, we say coche. So repeat after me. Coche. 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 Great work! Now for bicycle. In Spanish, we say bicicleta. So repeat after me. Bicicleta. 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 Muy bien, amigos. Two down, two to go. In Spanish, for the word train, we say tren. So repeat after me. Tren. 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 Perfecto! Now for airplane. In Spanish, we say avión. So repeat after me. Avión. 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 ¡Excelente, amigos! Hola again, amigos! Nice work practicing our new words. Now we're going to use those words to play an exciting sound game. Spanish game time! I'm going to play four familiar sounds. Each sound represents one of the four types of transportation we just learned. First, we'll start with the sound that goes with car. So what do you think that sound was? It sounded like someone honking a car horn. That's right, Evan. And the sound of someone honking a car horn goes with the word coche. So now on to the next sound. This sound goes with the word bicycle or bicicleta. Can you guess what that sound was? It sounded like someone ringing a bicycle bell. That's right, Evan. And the sound of a bicycle bell goes with bicicleta. Now let's see what sound goes with the word train or tren in Spanish. Wow, that was a really loud horn. And the sound of the wheels going down the tracks is such a powerful sound. I know what you mean. I love to watch trains pass by. It's pretty amazing to see. Yeah, me too. Wow, we've already gone over three sounds, so that means we just have one more to hear. What's our last sound, Vanessa? Good question. Our last sound goes with the word avión, or airplane. Are you ready to hear it? I'm ready. Wow, that's about as loud as the sound for tren. You can really tell how big trens and aviones are compared to bicicletas and coches. The bigger the vehicle, the bigger the sounds. All right, now that we know that this sound goes with coche and that this sound goes with bicicleta, this sound goes with tren, and last but not least, that this sound goes with avión, I think we're ready. Let's play the game. I'm going to play the sounds one at a time, and then once you hear this sound, It will be time to shout out the Spanish word for the vehicle that matches the sound. Let's start with sound number one. Are you all ready? Okay, here we go. 
Time to guess. What was that sound? Time's up. Vanessa, what word goes with that sound? Well, amigos, if you all guess coche, then you're correct. Way to go, amigos. Time for round two. Is this sound un coche, una bicicleta, un tren, or un avión? Time to guess. What was that sound? Time's up. Vanessa, what vehicle was that sound for? If you all guessed un tren, you're correct. It's a train. Muy bien, amigos. Way to go. Okay, amigos, are you ready for round three? Here we go. Is this un coche, una bicicleta, un tren, or un avión? Time to guess. What was that sound? Vanessa, what word goes with that sound? If you guessed bicicleta, that's correct. Perfecto, amigos, well done. All right, time for our final round, round cuatro. Is this sound un coche, una bicicleta, un tren, or un avión? Okay, amigo, time for our final guesses. What do you think goes with that sound? Time's up. Vanessa, what vehicle was that sound for? If you guessed avión, you're correct. Muy bien, amigos. It was an airplane. Great job, friends. That was so much fun. It sure was. Well, amigos, we're nearing the end of our review episode, which can only mean one thing. It's time to answer a question from one of our listeners. Evan, who is this week's special listener? This week's special listener is Hazel from Massachusetts. Hey, Hey Vanessa, isn't Hazel one of your new virtual Spanish students? She is! Hola, Hazel! I had so much fun in our Spanish lesson last week, and I can't wait to see you again. You're such an amazing Spanish learner, and I think it's so special and wonderful that we get to explore and learn more about your Mexican heritage together. Yeah, that's really great. So, Hazel, what word or phrase would you like to know how to say in Spanish? Hola, Evan and Vanessa. This week is my last week of school, and I want to know how to say school's out for summer. Adios, hasta luego. That's a great one, Hazel. I know school ended a little while ago, but it's never too late to celebrate the summertime. Vanessa, how do you say school's out for summer in Spanish? Great question, Hazel. So this phrase is a little tricky because it's really long, but I think we can do it. So to say school's out for summer in Spanish, we say la escuela está cerrada para el verano. So let's break that one up into little pieces. So first we'll start with school. So we'll say la escuela. So repeat after me. La escuela. La escuela. La escuela. La escuela. Okay, now for closed, we'll say está cerrada, which means is closed. So repeat after me. Está cerrada. Está cerrada. Está cerrada. Está cerrada. Muy bien, amigos. And last but not least, we'll say for summer, which in Spanish is para el verano. So let's repeat that all together. Para el verano. Para el verano. Para el verano. Para el verano. Excelente, amigos. So now all we have to do is put all of that together. So repeat after me. La escuela está cerrada para el verano. La escuela está cerrada para el verano. Muy bien. One more time. La escuela está cerrada para el verano. La escuela está cerrada para el verano. Muy bien, amigos. Now let's shout it in celebration. One, two, three. 
La escuela está cerrada para el verano. Way to go, amigos. That was a tough one, but you all did such a great job. Yeah, muy bien, amigos. We hope you all have lots of fun this verano, this summer. And muchas gracias for the question, Hazel. I'll see you next week for our fun lesson together. If any of you listeners out there ever want us to answer one of your questions, just visit us on eatyourspanishpodcast.com and you can send us in your question. And if you record your question on one of your parents' phones and send it to us, then you can have the chance of hearing your own voice on one of our podcasts. Well, that sound means it's time for us to say goodbye. Thanks for joining us today for the last review episode of season one of Eat Your Spanish. We had so much fun learning and singing and playing games in Spanish with you over the past year. Yeah, you all have been such amazing listeners, and it's been so much fun spending this time with you. Now it's time for Vanessa and I to take a little break, because Vanessa and I are going to be moving this summer from our home in Kentucky all the way across the country to Oregon. We know that there are a lot of Eat Your Spanish listeners in Oregon, and we're so excited to be near to you all. That's right! And once it's safe to gather in crowds again, we'll be having lots of Eat Your Spanish live concerts, so maybe we'll even get the chance to meet with you all! We'll let you know all about that when the time comes, but for now, we're going to hand over the microphone to Mrs. Elephant and Mr. Mouse for their Spanish Word of the Week episodes. We'll try to pop in for a special story every now and then, too. But until then, we hope all of you all stay safe and well, and we hope you'll have lots of fun this summer with Mrs. Elephant and Mr. Mouse and with your familias. It's time to sing our goodbye song. We hope you all sing along with us. amigos. Goodbye, friends. Hasta luego. See you later. Thanks for listening to the Eat Your Spanish podcast. You can support our podcast by visiting patreon.com forward slash eat your Spanish or by subscribing to it and leaving a review on iTunes. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, or on the web at eatyourspanishpodcast.com. Thanks for listening. Adios. Adios.